Attention, this zone might be too techy for you. Enter at your own risk. Alright, so welcome back into the mind of the techies world. It's kind of like an unboxing uh, frenzy, isn't it? <laughs> this is going to be a third, the third unboxing in a row here. Um, we're going to be unboxing today the uh, Rain Design M Stand. And uh, I bought this from uh, the Apple Store, and I didn't buy it from the Apple Store, I bought it from the online Apple Store. And the reason I did, pardon my arm in the way, I have the camera sitting on the tripod, so this is one of the first times you'll see a somewhat professional video uh, from me because I have the camera sitting on a tripod, uh, which is the new, uh, which is the new uh, Sony Handycam, by the way. And uh, so I bought this from the online Apple Store because I could get free shipping on it. Every other place I went to look for this, um, everybody else wanted, I think it was 10 to $20 to ship this thing. And I'm like, um, I really don't want to do that. So I found it on the uh, online Apple Store for $49 with free shipping. All in all, I paid something like 50 with tax, 50-something uh, with tax. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So I've got myself, again, a uh, knife here. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. Now, I've kind of wanted the M design, the uh, right, the uh, M stand, for a little while now. Um, I kind of fell in love with it the first time I seen it. And um, the M stand is kind of designed for MacBooks, but it also can support uh, Windows machines as well. But, it's, but it was designed for all of your uh, MacBooks. And I have a MacBook Pro, so I think it's going to work. I think it's going to look very nicely. Now I'll show you the stand that I was using as soon as we get this out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to handheld mode now since I got this unboxed here. So um, I'm just going to take the camera off the uh, tripod and flip the screen around. Okay, so we're back in handheld mode. Zoom that out just a bit. So we're here in handheld mode here, and uh, we have here to start off with paper. Um, so I'll just move that out of here. Now we see the box. I kind of see why they shipped it in a big box. Uh, this, the, the stand comes in a big box. I didn't realize that. <laughs> so I'll just remove the, um, all this paper. And I'll just throw that on the floor. And here we have the... There's a candle. <laughs> I like this box. It looks kind of like an Apple Mac box, doesn't it? It's even got its own little carry handle. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, I love this box. This is definitely a box I got to keep. Uh, so I, I, I'm in love with this packaging. This is just awesome. So that's the packaging, and this should be the receipt. Uh, it says the total weight is 5.9 pounds. See, bought it from the online Apple store. And um, doesn't say the price. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Hoping they kind of had the price on here, but it doesn't. Um, it says the total weight is 5.9 pounds. Uh, so, anyway, it doesn't have the price. I was kind of hoping it did so I could show you that, but it doesn't. Okay, so I'll just throw that on the floor and I'll move this box out of the way. And um, we'll go ahead and get into the stand itself. Okay, so here we are in the uh, stand here. Again, just a quick look around the packaging here. Again, it's very reminiscent of um, Mac packaging, isn't it? Like what you get a Mac in. I, I kind of like this packaging. It's really cool. Um, here's what the stand looks like with some of the features. It's got a uh, raised screen, helps improve your sitting posture. Increased screen height about six inches. Cable outlet keeps your desk organized. Keyboard stash cleans up desk space. Fits all MacBooks. Incompatible notebooks, uh, single piece aluminum, basically unibody, that's kind of what I take it as. Aluminum panel cools laptop by acting as a heat sink. Tilt design improves airflow around machine. Tilt around, uh, tilt design brings screen closer comfortability. So again, these are some of the highlights of the stand. This is what the stand kind of looks like. So on the side, on the back, we have all this technical information. This is what the laptop looks like when it is uh, raised up. Give you a little bit of a visual there. This is the stand, all that stuff. And then this here kind of shows you how it's a better posture. See down here, you're working on a normal machine with your back arched, but with the stands, you can um, 
improve your posture with that. And this is what it would look like all set up if you have a keyboard and a mouse, kind of something like that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into this packaging. So there's little labels here, so I'm going to take my knife again, and I'm going to just uh, pull down here, and I'm going to just peel on these labels ever so gently. I don't want to ruin the box, so I'm going to peel up on these labels. Um, I'm just going to use the knife to peel up on it. Do, do, do. I know a couple people who have actually had this stand. Um, one person I know loves it. The other person said that it was okay, but it raised the computer up too high for their personal preference. But again, it's all personal preference of how high you want your computer. Um, it, it's always better to use a stand anyway than a um, just using it flat. So let's see. How do we get into this here? I guess we just... Um, <laughs> we really need instructions on how to open a package. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, hold on here. Um, we put the tripod back on. Let's see if I can figure this out. Let's see what we got here. See, it's got a, there we go, there we go. Apparently it's a two-handed operation. Um, let's see. Apparently this is a two-handed operation. You can't do it with one hand. Um, this is always going to be the stubborn one. There we go. Alrighty. So I'll remove out of tripod and go back into handheld. So here we go. This is what it looks like here. Open the flap. Again, it all kind of looks like MacBook packaging here. Open the flap here. I got to stand back up. And here we have the stand itself. This might be another two-handed operation, but we'll see if I can just lift it out. Um, yeah, this is going to be a two-handed operation, so got to set the tripod up again. Maybe I should just use the tripod all the time, don't you think? Maybe I should just leave the camera on the tripod um, instead of trying to do this. Maybe I should just leave the camera on the tripod all the time. What do you think? Okay. Angle that. This is going to be another two-handed operation. Looks like it pulls out like this. And pull down here. There we go. Here we go. This is the stand right here. You can see. Now I'm just going to remove. Now I'm just going to remove this from it. Oh, dropped it. <laughs> it's never what you want to do. And so this is the stand. So let's go back into handheld mode and I'll show you some of the cool features. Okay, so we're back with the uh, M stand, and this is what it looks like here. Again, this is all aluminum. This is what it looks like. Kind of has the reminiscence of a back of an iMac. If you kind of, this is where all your cables would go. Again, it's a little bit. I'm not sure what all this is. Hmm, not too happy about that. Um, I don't think it's been used, but that's a little interesting. Not sure. Focus. Not sure why all this is on there. Um, but again, that's only physical. I don't really care. As long as it does what it's supposed to do, then I will be happy. Uh, so again, this is what was in the box. We have this little rain design. This might be some kind of a product guide. Yeah, this is a product guide telling us all the other products. Final Cut Pro, which is what I use to edit all these videos with. Um, they have some pretty cool stuff here. You know, stuff for your iPad, a mobile thing for your iMac, app thing and stuff like that so that's just that goes in the box now I'm going to show you my current laptop stand and uh, why I needed a new stand this is it I don't know if I've ever showed it in a video before but this is my laptop stand I built this um, a few years ago actually about a couple years ago because I wanted a stand and I didn't want to buy one <laughs> so what this is this is a thick three ring binder I don't know the exact size I think it's two inches but that's the bottom then I have two of these books this uh, purple book here 
I bought at a uh, thrift store. I think it was Goodwill. This book here used to be this uh, red and white and black book here. This was a uh, math book when I was in college at my old college. And this is the uh, local phone book. <laughs> So that's what I use as a laptop stand. And uh, it does, and I actually measured this. The rain stand lifts the computer up about six inches. This is a little over six inches. Uh, so, you know, I'm not too worried about the height decrease just as long as it does what it's supposed to do. And if it does that, I'll be happy. And of course, we have the uh, Apple keyboard here with the Magic Mouse as my setup. And then sometimes I do use this external display here uh, if I need to project something or if I'm working on dual displays, I'll do that. So uh, this is my laptop stand and we're gonna dismantle this. Uh, this is actually a dangerous stand um, because the computer could slide off or something like that. So we're not gonna be doing that. So no more of this. We're now gonna be using this too. So let's go ahead and dismantle this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close the MacBook Pro and I'm gonna unplug my keyboard and I'm gonna unplug power. And I'm gonna set the MacBook Pro aside and I'm gonna dismantle this. So we're just gonna take this phone book Throw it on the floor. This book was one of my old college books. I really don't need that anymore, so I might as well just throw that away. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And then I have this binder here that I could use for something. Let's throw that on the floor. I'll clean all that up later. Move my um, headphones out of the way. And screwdriver. Clean the area. I just cleaned this, but there's white stuff all over it. Bring in our M stand. The thing I do like is it has that keyboard storage. You can put the keyboard underneath there when you're not using it. I like that. Bring the Mac back over. Set it back, line it up in the front. Get our keyboard and power. And here we go. Okay, this is actually not, not too bad. Again, it's got Again, look at the angle it's on. That's going to be pretty good for typing. If I use the um, uh, Apple, if I use the built-in keyboard on the on the MacBook, that'll work out good. Um, again, that's a, that's actually not too bad. Um, again, the little height decrease is not too bad. Um, and then we have, of course, here the keyboard and the mouse. Uh, again, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I like it. Um, let's get you a angle view here from the side what it looks like from the side let me just scooch over so this is what it looks like from the side um, using my MacBook Pro uh, this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro by the way so again that's actually not too bad it looks very professional it kind of looks like an iMac doesn't it <laughs> that's kind of what it reminisces and of course in the back here you could stick all the power cords and everything back there you can route them back there make it look a lot nicer I'm gonna like this stand, definitely. I can, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can, I can see the stand working out for me. Um, so that is the M stand around. That was one of the big problems I had with this uh, pathetic excuse of a stand <laughs> was all the time it just kept moving around. The computer kept moving around, but it stays steady the way it should, and I like it. I think I'm gonna like this stand. This was definitely a good purchase. Um, I think I'm gonna like it. Again, the height decrease is not all that bad. Um, again, my this horrible excuse of a stand down here raised it up about six and a half. This is about, I think it was six and a half. This is a little bit about six. So again, I'm not too concerned about the height difference because it is angled like that, so I'm not too concerned about it. But again, this is a uh, very nice, uh, it, it's a nice stand. I like it. So I'm going to end this video here. This has been an unboxing and a quick um, little overview of the stand. I might give a little, uh, this might be, uh, I might do a um, little uh, review on the stand later. Um, but that's all I've got for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, make sure you uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or you have a comment on this video. Um, and... Um, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more from the Techies world, you know you do, so hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you for watching. Look, I just want to do one final quick test here. Those markings did come off, by the way. I could just, you know, run my finger down and it was coming off. It was like flour or something. I don't know what it was. But they all came off. I'm happy now. Um, I gave it a quick little uh, wipe down, so they're off. It's looking the way it should. I don't know what they were, why it was there, but let's do a quick test. I already did the test with the MacBook Pro. Let's try it. It was designed for the Mac, but let's try it with the iBook. Let's see how this would work. 
Again, the iBook weighs more than the MacBook Pro. It's like a, in the words of my grandmother, it's the weight of a dead preacher. And I'm going to go ahead and open the iBook here. And um, it tried to go to sleep on me. Um, again, you know, again, that's not too bad. Again, if you had like an iBook or a PowerBook or something, you could definitely, surely use that if you have like a MacBook or a PowerBook. And it said that it'll work with um, most Windows machines. Not guaranteed that they'll work. But again, this is a pretty chunky little computer. And um, it's holding it very well. So not too concerned about that. And again, you know, the angle is pretty good. So just wanted to test the uh, iBook here to see how it would um, work with the M stand and I think it would work very well if you don't have a MacBook Pro like I do um, or if you don't have a MacBook in general if you have like an iBook or a PowerBook then you, you could still use the stand I don't see why it wouldn't work um, so now now we're finished with this video like comment share subscribe all that stuff you know what to do thank you for watching I'm dreaming about the things we used to have bed that we used to share memories we used to grab dreaming about the days I had with you And all the times you call me just to say Baby, I miss you Thinking If there's a way to change the past Tomorrow isn't promised So I'm throwing drama in the trash Feeling Like I lost a part of me I'm falling just before I hit the ground I